Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Penny, and today I will be reviewing the elements needed to successfully recover from an Achilles tendon rupture. Optimal rehabilitation following an Achilles tendon rupture is critical. For most patients, the results they achieve in recovering from an Achilles rupture will be more dependent upon how effectively they rehabilitate the injured extremity than whether they treated the injury surgically or non-surgically. The goals of rehabilitation are to regain strength and coordination of the muscles in the injured extremity. This requires a delicate balance between one, activating the muscles early in the recovery process, but two, not excessively stressing the tendon as it heals. In the past, patients with Achilles tendon ruptures were treated by immobilization with their foot pointing down in a cast for six to eight weeks. This was a predictable way to get the Achilles tendon to heal, but led to dramatic lower leg muscle weakness that patients often never recovered from. Fortunately, newer rehabilitation techniques, when carried out correctly, have led to dramatically improved results. These results can be achieved with surgical or non-surgical management of Achilles ruptures. Although, patients undergoing conservative management cannot be as aggressive in their mobilization early in the recovery process relative to patients who've had a surgical repair of the tendon. The modern rehabilitation strategies have focused on early motion and firing of the calf muscles without overloading the tendon repair. The specifics of each rehabilitation program should be specified by the patient's treating physician. However, there are some common themes in the newer accelerated Achilles tendon rehab protocols. Typically, the first couple of weeks after an Achilles rupture, the injured extremity is still treated with immobilization with the foot pointing downwards. This is to allow initial healing of the tendon as well as healing of the wound if surgery has been performed. After a couple of weeks, the focus is on getting the calf muscles contracting and on getting some basic movement through the tendon. All of the foot movements at this stage are downwards as upward ankle dorsiflexion motion will tend to stretch out the tendon repair. One of the secrets is to ensure that there is no resistance to the calf muscle contractions and instead focus on higher repetition. Exercises to contract the calf muscle and move the tendon are performed daily. These exercises often include repetitively pointing the toes downward. Close oversight by a physical therapist familiar with the accelerated rehab protocol recommended by the treating physician is important. Partial weight bearing is started relatively early and progressed gradually so that full weight bearing is often achieved by six weeks following the injury. A considerable heel lift is used during these first six weeks in order to help protect the tendon during this phase of graduated weight bearing. It is essential that the patient avoid any sudden forced upward movement of the ankle as this type of forced ankle dorsiflexion can re-rupture or lengthen out the healing tendon. This graduated rehabilitation program continues for many months until full function has been regained. The key to a successful recovery is to gradually increase the load that the tendon is exposed to. This graduated approach is done in order to allow the tendon to heal solidly while minimizing muscle atrophy and then eventually regaining full lower extremity muscle strength and flexibility. The tendon is subject to many times body weight with sporting activities, so strong healing of the tendon is essential. Unfortunately, solid healing of the tendon just takes time. It's difficult or impossible to speed up the biology associated with tendon healing. This is why recovery from an Achilles tendon rupture takes a relatively long time and is therefore a very frustrating injury. For more information 
on recovery from an Achilles tendon rupture, click on the link below. Wishing you good foot health, I'm Dr. Steve Penny. Thank you.